Okay, DIY world, let's burn a seam. And I'm going to make this incredibly easy so that anybody can follow it. And I'm sorry, my big old hand got in the way. But the two carpets I want to seam together, I'm overlapping one on top of the other. And I'm tracing the edge of the overlapped one. And I'm just cutting little baby incisions into the carpet, creating a little, you know, connect the dots type of scenario that I could trace these, right? So I'm folding it back and I'm going to go ahead and trace my little incisions one onto the next. Just boom, boom, boom work my way down nice and slow and you have to have a really sharp blade to have this look good because if the blade isn't sharp it is going to look like trash so slowly work your way down cutting through the backing do not rush but by making all those little incisions all the way down it's going to make a nice easy template for you to follow and have the backings of your carpet line up perfectly okay so once we get that all good to go we got to get a little bit of seam tape under there if this is the first time you've done this then you have to go ahead and take time to put the seam tape evenly under both parts of the carpet once that's lined up, we're going to go ahead and plug in that seam iron. It's already been cooking for a while, so don't think I just plugged in. I was like, hey, we're going to burn the seam. No, that thing's already been smoking. So anyway, we got the seam iron on there. You know, you can count to five or something like that, five to ten seconds, depending upon how hot you have it burning. And then you're just going to go ahead and slide it an iron's length forward. So slide that iron's length forward. Make sure you're not pulling the tape. And if you do, just slide it back like we did right there. Boom. Slide that iron's length forward. Put the backing together, blend it in. Okay, I'm going to let that sit there for another 5 to 10 seconds. And it'll let you know if you're melting the glue appropriately or not. If you get a good glide, you're doing a good job. If you're not, let it sit a little bit longer and then slide it. And I unplugged it there because that iron is smoking. So we went ahead, slid it further a little more. We're going to blend it in. And then when we get to the end there, we got to do this little swoop technique so we don't get glue everywhere. See, I did that swoop. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, put the iron on the tray. Do not sit it on the carpet you're trying to install. Get the backing together. Blend it in with your fingertips there. And bam, you just burned a seam like a pro.